guys so today I wanted to show you how to get this fun safe in the Sun makeup um, especially during the summer you know you know to put sunscreen on every day some of us do some of us don't but especially in the summer sunscreen isn't even enough it's about your makeup you want to be protected all throughout the summer so that whether you're going to the beach whether you're going out with friends or whether you're just hanging out you are protected from those UV rays that way you don't get premature signs of aging or if you already have a little bit of aged skin, the sun doesn't make it worse. So this foundation routine was put together to be completely sun protective. I wanted it to be the best it can be. Um, and it's also pretty kind of medium coverage. It's not a super full coverage, but when you doll up your eyes and when you doll up your lips and when you do your hair and have a really cute swimsuit or something on or a really cute outfit on, people are going to be paying attention to you and not any blemishes. So you can still see a few through, but it is not terrible. It is overall a great medium coverage look and it's perfect to keep you protected in the sun. Also, a lot of the products you can switch out. You can use your favorite concealer. You can use your favorite, um, you know, sunscreen beforehand if you want to use SPF 50 instead of SPF 25 or something something like that. Um, but I would love to hear what you guys think and of course I'll show you guys how to do this. So the very first thing we have to do is apply a sunscreen and I am using this one from La Roche Per Se. It is, I don't know, it's got some super spiffy stuff. It's basically a daily moisturizer with sunscreen and it does have 24 long lasting stuff. It's supposed to be for sensitive skin. I've had good results with this. Um, there are definitely other ones you can use but you want to just make sure that you use one um, that really works well for your skin. So of course I'm using clean hands and I'm going to apply this all over my face. This is going to kind of act as a primer. It may not be as effective as a primer, but it'll still sort of act as one, but it'll give us much more protection. And you guys see, I still have that sty on my eye. It is so unfortunate. I really do not forget you can like it. Um, but I am going to rub this in and once it's there, we're going to let it sit for a couple minutes just so it can absorb in and doesn't leave these white casty things on our face. So I'm gonna finish rubbing this in and I'll be right back. Once that's soaked in, I'm going to apply my concealer, and I like to apply my concealer underneath my foundation. Do you hear that noise? That was my brother's phone. It's like some crazy ghost noise. By the way, if there's random noises in the background, um, people are just going to be random, so yeah, expect that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be using this one. This is the Hourglass Hidden. Um, I am Hidden Pearl, and I really like this one because it is creamy, and it's like a full coverage concealer. And I don't wear concealer with full coverage foundation. I usually wear full coverage concealer with a kind of a light sheer foundation. But this does not have SPF in it. But I am going to use this just to cover up some of my bigger blemishes, so that, that way when I use a lighter foundation, they won't show through. Um, so you can use your finger, you can use a concealer brush, you can use whatever you please. I'm just going to use a concealer brush and kind of get it on these spots that I find to be bothersome. Do you guys hear my brother talking? He's like on the phone. Random people are going to be random. So now that I've got these dots all over my face, I'm going to apply my foundation and I'm using the Almay Smart Shade Smart Balance. You guys know what a love-hate relationship I have with this thing. Um, but I have found that when applying with a brush, I do find that it doesn't get as streaky and as weird on me. And what I like is that it does have SPF 15. So on top of the SPF that we just put on our face, this is going to be like an additional pop of sunscreen. Um, and it is a light foundation. If you have a more full coverage foundation that you want to use, be my guest. Um, but especially for the summer, I don't want to be all cakey and sweaty and stuff like that. So I am going to use this and it's just very, very light. Um, and I'm going to apply some here to my brush and then just kind of pat this onto my skin and blend it out. And the more you work this in, the more the color is going to normalize. Um, but I'm just going to kind of finish this up and then I'll be right back. Now that I've got that all on and blended in pretty well, um, it is a little bit white cast on me. Um, so obviously this is, again, the foundation not balancing the color correctly. Um, but I am going to go in with a powder now. And this is the Bare Minerals Matte. I really do not care for Bare Minerals. I find it makes me very, very oily. But when combined with this foundation, I find it's all right. 
Um, but I am in the color Fair, and what's nice about this is it's supposed to have SPF in it, SPF 15. Now, because it's an actual powder and it doesn't go on as full as a foundation, it's really not SPF 15, it's probably more like SPF 5, um, so do be aware of that. Um, but I'm just going to take a little brush and kind of powder this onto my face to kind of even out this color and also kind of set the foundation. Wow, my face and my neck are like 10 different colors. Actually, two. But that's still not a good thing. My face and my neck are always two different colors. So the goal here is to be covered but not cakey. I don't want to be oily. I don't want to be greasy. I don't want to be any of that stuff. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay D-Slick. You can use whatever setting spray you like. I like this one because it keeps me um, kind of the oil under control. And as you guys can see, the foundation is not flawless and it's not even matching completely. So this will help even that out, set it a little bit more. And it's not really going to help with the coverage here, but when people are looking at us and we're concentrating on our conversation, people are going to be looking at our eyes and our lips and our hair and our outfit and stuff like that instead of our skin. So even though it's not completely full coverage, it's a little bit sheer, people aren't going to be able to see through. So I'm just going to spray this to set my foundation. So guys, I hope that this foundation routine helped you. I hope that you can use it for all of your summer happenings. Um, be sure to stay safe, be sure to stay protected, and I'll even link you guys to a couple videos of why you shouldn't tan this summer, like if you need more reasons not to tan, and then also a video on alternatives to tanning. Um, but summer is all about looking cute and staying safe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I look forward to talking to you in those videos very soon. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.